In the 50s, June Cleaver set the bar for mothers everywhere, dishing out sage advice to her family, keeping her cotton container sparkling clean, and of course, wearing those pearls and press dresses. The book Shoddy Moms, we're calling it that because we can't actually say the name, but you can see it. There you go. Some Melbourne advocates are somewhat different, more relaxed approach to motherhood, and that's putting it mildly. To tell us a little more, we're joined by co-authors Alicia Obaro and Marianne Zellner. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. It's great Such to have honor. you here. And it's, I mean, when you flip through the book, and there are portions of it that we could never talk about in terms of the way you write and what you write, but that's the point, right? You went Absolutely. a little bit beyond the... Absolutely. We wanted the, the bit of a shock factor there, but we also wanted to make people laugh. I mean, the underlying message of the book is a positive one, which is basically give yourself a break on your mothering style and, right. and fathering style. But it's also, it's, it's a funny, laugh out loud, funny book. And as moms, what do we do? We harbor guilt. As parents, of we course, all harbor guilt. Of course, that's part of it. <laughs> so we, we tell ourselves and uh, the folks reading the book, let it go. Let that go. It's okay to not be perfect all the time. And it's okay to not be perfect when you're set up against some of the other friends that you talk about in the book who have you know, kids in different languages and doing all those other things. So how much guilt do you harbor up? How much guilt is inside you before you decide you have to write the book to get it out? <laughs> oh, there, there's a lot of guilt inside this body, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think that every parent, I mean, it's kind of like when you have the first child and you're just trying to do everything, you're, you're just doing everything right, and then you realize, like, God, I am the worst mom. Like, I'm beyond a shot. Like, I'm a bad mom because I'm trying to be so perfect. And kind of once you let go of that guilt and you actually start laughing instead of crying, which is what I used to do, it kind of changes the whole outlook in life. And once you let go of the guilt, you need to allow yourself as a parent to, to find a way to recharge your batteries. And so that is also part of the message of Shoddy Mom is just take a minute for yourself, whether it's hiding yourself in the bathroom, reading a couple of chapters, or finding your favorite magazine, do something yeah. for you to help you be a better parent in the end. As you know, men perfected hiding in the washroom reading years ago. <laughs> Years ago. In fact, that's how we get away from the situations we leave. With, no with guilt. Us. No <laughs> guilt. No guilt. I have no guilt on that all. So we've got a quiz, yes. I guess. And, well, and, I... and we should say that your book starts out on almost page one yeah. with some yeah. very direct questions. So what yeah. we did was we didn't take those, but we sort of looked at those and then came up with some questions. So uh, it'll all be true and false questions here. You can play along at home with this. So, all right, true or false, true or false, true or false. You've picked the pacifier off the floor and given it to your child without sanitizing it. True or false? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sometimes you just can't. Like it's, it's just... <laughs> But don't you find that have you, don't you find you do that if one other single person is in the room? Oh, here, let me wash that. Oh, right, they, yeah. they, they yeah. try to, and that's where the guilt comes in. Yeah. They're trying to guilt you in to yeah. washing it, and you're just like, no, stick it in the yeah. mouth, put yeah. in the baby, everything's going to be a-okay. <laughs> you know what? We call it a little bit of vitamin C. There's no anthrax <laughs> on the ground. There's no. nothing there you that's go. just going to hurt your child to it's bits. It's for the like, immune system. It's for the immune system. It's a good thing. Is that like anywhere from five to 30 second rule, right? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Five minutes in some cases. <laughs> All right, question number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've pretended to be asleep when your child came into your room in the morning. Oh. Oh. Wow. You just... Oh my gosh! You you when when you hear the the little pitter patter and they come to your side because they always go into mom yes. first and they get the pats on the head and mommy you cannot if you for once open an eye or crack a smile it. it's, over. it's over you're you're caught so you just have to play you have like to possum. play dead and eventually they will pitter patter over to the other side of the bed yes. It's great. Unfortunately, your husband is already in the washroom. <laughs> okay. Question number three. You've cringed when your child has asked you to play with him. Oh. Uh, no. probably. Depending on the day, I wow. have to be honest. I know. I have to be honest. <laughs> Listen, there's honest. nothing wrong with letting your child find a little boredom. Boredom is good. It, it, it sparks creativity. Yes. You don't always have to, as a parent, insert yourself into True every enough. moment. Yes. And that's why we do it. <laughs> it's all for the right reason. All for the right reason. Question number four. You've pretended you didn't hear your child call you. Oh. oh. I haven't said false yeah. words. None of us have. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, my God. 
good. It's a good thing. Yeah. You embrace it. I know. Embrace it. And question number five. Well, on the phone, you've hidden from your child. Oh, yes. You've hidden from yes. your child Especially while you're on the phone. Oh, you. Yes. 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 Well, no, maybe oh, we should make my. this a non work related call. When speaking with a friend. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, just yeah. so funny, because some of the things, even in the book, and you're saying, you know, with the sleep, the sleep thing is always such a big deal with a toddler, a baby, and you say, you put the fan on, don't turn it on low, <laughs> and off you go. An old fashioned one yeah. that makes massive yeah. amounts of noise to like drown out the one calls. One of those clunky fans from the 1970s. <laughs> Run to your thrift store now and find it because it will be your best friend. So listen, do people now that the book is out, do people come up to you in droves telling you what bad parents they oh, are? Thank you very much. Yeah, well, there's right. a big difference between being a bad parent and being a shoddy mom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like but it is amazing they're like thank you so much for writing this book because yeah. it's changed our life and it's changed our outlook and made us giggle but it also helped us let go of that guilt and your husband's like it too they yeah, love yeah it. they love it. love it well yeah. it's so great that you could both come in to studio and be well, on we the are show thank so you. honored and your yeah. husband Drew used to work here. on this oh, show yeah. work here. shout out to alexander kippen whose parents are watching in montreal <laughs> I love it. Congratulations on the book once again, and thank you for coming in this morning. Thank Have a great you. day. A thank quiz. you so much. And by the way, you can win one of the five copies of the Shoddy Moms Parenting Book. To find out how, just subscribe to our daily newsletter on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca. And if your child asks you to play, just say you have to do this first. <laughs> it's work. It's work. We'll be right back.